Okay, so my name is my name's Mark Tranter. Uh, founded Burning Sky Brewery. We're a small uh, farmhouse brewery in the southeast of England, uh, not far from the coast near Brighton. But we are in the countryside, so near the cities, but far away enough as well. And you've been going for 10 years, one of the veterans of the British craft beer uh, scene. Well, what have you seen during those 10 years and where do you think the craft industry is now? Well, it was Burning Sky for 10 years, but I was with Dark Star for 17 years before that as well. So 27 years of brewing, it's, uh, times just keep changing. People's, what people's tastes are keeps changing and evolving. Every time you think things are slowing down, they speed up again. So just in the 10 years of Burning Sky, there's been a lot of change. Um, we used to struggle to sell some of our mixed fermentation beers, but we doggedly stuck with them. Uh, the, the sort of craze for hazy IPAs never seems to slow down. Uh, there's not really something that we are part of, but where will things go next? I don't know. Maybe I think people are liking more traditional beers again. Uh, lagers, bitters, and just clean, easy drinking. Beers that aren't as strong, I think. And then beers for sharing. Everybody was talking about the next uh, frontier for craft beer and, uh, you know, these evolving tastes mm. was uh, lager. Yes. Um, and we see here at the Tilken Beer Festival like three, four and... Quite a lot of lagers, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. And uh, where do you think, uh, you know, is the British craft scene, uh, you know, has it reached a saturation? Uh, a lot of brewers didn't, you know, we always knew the after effects of COVID would be after COVID. Yes, you know, yeah. survived and now brewers and bars and maybe some of your customers' bases starting to go under. Um, yeah, it's been, it's been a difficult time because COVID did well in the economic effects of things that happened before, during and after COVID. It's not just COVID. Um, but there were a lot of breweries in the UK and it's sad to see people going under and people losing their jobs. And But I hope it will stabilise again. Um, I think the next year will still be difficult. Um, but the pubs that we supply, the bars in the UK, seem, a lot of them seem to be doing as well, if not better than before. So yeah, there's that's been, surprising, yeah. there's definitely uh, the sales of like small packs of so bottles and cans isn't as much, but draft is because people want to be part of the going to the pub still. For you, uh, what's your production per year now? I don't, uh, I don't know. <laughs> but we'd probably be near 5,000 hectolitre, maybe four, five, yeah. And are your plans to, where do you go from here? Are your plans to expand your range or to stay within? No, we will stay small you because, you know, every time I do something different, I give myself a headache. So mm -hmm. let's stay a bit smaller and consolidate and just look after what we do and look after the people who are making this as well. Are you still having fun from the days when you were just starting out small and struggling uh, and then now you're running a business? The struggles are always different. I started a brewery to make the beers I wanted to make and now the last thing I do is make the beer. <laughs> <laughs> well, people are enjoying your beers and thank you so much for talking to the uh, beer Thank idiots. you. Thank you very much. Excellent. Cheers. Cheers.